Alright, what I have here is a 41 block and tackle. I got a three quarter ton swivel, a forged die hook, two inch cap, and a nipple. Um, this just screws into the T, just like it would a pitless adapter um, fitting down below uh, the frost line. So you would need a pipe long enough to get to your pitless fitting. You screw it in, you'll have to have a cap and eye hook at the top so you can pull it up like we are here. Now I'm going to pull this up and um, once I pull it up, <coughs> when I get to the, um, the next joint of pipe, I slide this underneath the coupling. Now it rests on the wellhead. I lower it down so the weight of the pipe will all be on this plate. Alright, we just repeat the same process until we get to the cylinder. And we'll make sure you don't cross thread it. This swivel makes it nice, three quarter ton. We're back at it this morning, taking our time doing it right. I've got 50 feet of pipe removed so far. We're going to continue to pull the rest of the remaining pipe out and pump. And as you can see, I've got the safety rope coiled into a box to keep it clean.
and the rod is disconnected. Alright, I made it to the last piece of pipe, the 13th one. My cylinder's right underneath. We'll look at that in just a second. 13 joints of pipe with 3 8 sucker rod, inadequate for the mechanical vantage of the water buck pump. There's our 4 inch brass cylinder. Stay tuned for part 2 of the installation of a water buck pump with another. 4 inch cylinder and also stay tuned for a surprise, a significant change in the mechanical advantage of the water buck pump. Its appearance will even be more awesome.